Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today I'm going to be sharing some of my favourites with you guys. I don't do monthly favourites because I find that I never have enough products to warrant a video, so I like to do these every so often when I do have a collection of products that I'm loving. So if you'd like to hear what are some of my current favourites, then just keep on watching. Now we're going to start off with base products first. Now some of these I've mentioned in my previous video, the if I could only keep one tag, so I'm, I apologise if these are a bit repetitive, but I can't deny how how much I absolutely adore the Auric Glow Lust. I have it in the shade Selenite and I bought this for my 20th birthday and man, I adore this stuff so much. I won't harp on it too long because I've already talked your ear off about this product, but it basically, I put a thin layer over my skin, blend it out with a sponge, it just looks like my skin is glowing and healthy and radiant, but not greasy. It is such a beautiful product. Anytime I wear it, my skin just looks stunning. And it doesn't look like a foundation. It just looks like skin. I like that it has a slight hint of coverage, not too much coverage, which is my preference. It is no secret how much I adore the Glow Lust. Ironically, I'm not wearing it today. I think you can tell my face is a bit more matte. I will never stop singing this product's praises. It is absolutely magnificent. Now I've got three blushes to share with you, the first one being the Ingrid Cosmetics blush in the shade Carrot Cool. My friend Hattie sent this to me for my birthday. Ingrid Cosmetics are a Polish drugstore brand and this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful bright peachy coral. It is matte but it's definitely not flat. This blush is super pigmented. Let me just swatch it for y'all. It is so smooth and buttery. Let's see if I can do a good swatch for you. Do you see that? how pigmented that is. I love me a good pigmented blush. This blends out beautifully. It looks so pretty on the cheeks and it works with so many different makeup looks. I will say I don't think Ingrid are cruelty free. I'm not too certain. I haven't done too much research about it, but this blush is beautiful and it was gifted to me from a friend, so I just treasure it. It's so beautiful on the cheeks. This next blush I have such a big love affair with. It's the Nabla Skin Glazing Blush in Truth, and it looks like this. It used to have a really beautiful imprint, but as we can see, I have done a lot of damage to it. It's the most perfect pink with a peach undertone glowy blush. It is magnificent. The formula is like a baked gelée formula. So it's a bit firmer in the pan. And this one, it's nicely pigmented, but it's not... Oh, you can see. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh my god. It is definitely a pinky peach. I mean, clearly, I have... I have a thing for peaches. But when you apply this on the skin, it looks so healthy. It doesn't look like a highlighter on your cheeks, because I find that some glowy blushes, if they're too glowy, they look just like a highlighter on your cheeks, and they look a bit weird. But this one has the right amount of glow. This paired with the Glow Lust, the perfect glowy skin routine, honestly. I should do a video talking about my favourite, like, base routine. Would y'all be interested in that? I love layering this, especially on top of this blush, if I want something super blushed and intense. Because this one, it tends to look a little bit more natural. I find if I layer this too much, then it looks a little bit too shiny. But the combo of these two fantastic. And the final blush we have to mention is a cream blush and this is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Strawberry Drip. It looks like this. It's a bright ass pink. I like to use a denser brush to apply this on my cheeks. I'll put a picture of me wearing this blush because these blushes, I have sung their praises time and time again. They layer beautifully over powdered skin and for me personally, I don't like to change up my routine for a product. I know that you're meant to apply cream products before you powder your skin, but that's not the way I do my routine. I have to powder before I do anything else, but these work so well on top of powdered skin. They're so pigmented and really bright and intense and it's just so summery and fresh looking. I love this so much on my cheeks. This is like a dark horse. I didn't expect to love this colour as much as I do, but this is such a unique colour in my collection, and I think this could work on literally everybody. Every single skin tone would look gorgeous in this. If you are eyeing up a good cream blush formula and you have oily skin and you're not really... you're a bit nervous to get into creams, I highly recommend these Fenty ones. They are small, compact, but so amazing. The lasting power is fantastic as well. I don't find they fade on me and they do set down as well. Alrighty, we're moving on to eyes now. First things first, um, this looks a little bit stressful and not all of them are in here, but I have to mention my glisten liners. Okay, I'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna do that. Let me just put those down. My glisten liners have been a favorite of mine since I got them last year. They are so gorgeous. I'm actually wearing a bunch on my eyes today. I'm wearing the shade Smoke, which is the gray, and Graypade, which is the purple. Glisten's wet liner formula is my personal favorite. I find they don't crack on me. They don't crease or transfer or anything like that. They work fantastically on my oily eyelids as well. Now, I personally always use an eye primer. Even if I'm doing eyeliner, I always wear an eye primer anyways. And I have absolutely no issues with them. And I love the color selection. I'm going to do a video where I swatch my entire liner collection, my Glisten liner collection, because I feel like that would be really fun. And I also want to mention an unexpected favorite were their iridescent liners. Now I have four shades. I got four out of the six and I was worried that because these have a transparent base, you wouldn't really be able to see them on the skin. But bitch, you really fucking do. Because they have so much shine, they are so fucking intense on the eyes and they really pop against your skin tone. I'm really impressed with these. I was a bit nervous about them and you do have to layer them a couple of times for it to be proper intense, but I don't mind. They look amazing. And if you want to shop from Glisten Cosmetics, you can use my code SKY10 for 10% off. That code is affiliated. Moving swiftly along to eyeshadow palettes. I have got three palettes to talk about and two selections of singles. So let's talk about the first and smallest palette. This is the Nabla Cutie Palette Coral. It looks like this. It's a beautiful coral six pan with a pop of neutral in here. I had wanted this palette since it released and it, I don't know what it is about it. It always catches my attention. And I gotta say, this is magnificent, y'all. These two shimmers especially. Mandarin is the most beautiful peachy sheer topper shade with a bunch of silver sparkle in it. Let me swatch it for you. It's fucking amazing. That right there is Mandarin. I mean, look at that. So beautiful and intense. And I'm gonna swatch the shade I got you, which is the pink metallic in here. How beautiful. And because you have the two neutrals in here, they do work really nicely with this color story altogether. And I find that you can do neutral looks with this, but I find because this shade is so deep and rich, it's hard to do anything natural. I love the shade Feelings right here. It's such a beautiful, buttery, soft pink shade. It's amazing. Red shape is more of a satin shade, so I personally like to layer mandarin on top of it to make it more sparkly. But I feel like this is the best... Mm, do, should I say that? I feel like this is my favorite Nabla palette that I've tried. I do own the Soul Blooming palette and I think I prefer this one a little bit more. I just love that you get a variety of formulas in here. Like you have two high shine metallics, one standard metallic that is still quite intense, one satin, which I mean, I'd prefer if that were a matte personally, but again, you can lay a mandarin on top of it and then it'll become beautiful and sparkly. And two beautiful mattes. I am so in love with this palette. It's such a beautiful curated six pan with a lot of variety in it. I'm so impressed. If you are eyeing this up, I highly recommend it. I do apologize if you can hear birds chirping. I have my window open. Ignoring the birds in the background, the Glaminatrix U Beauty palette. This was sent to me in PR and fucking hell. I love this palette so much. I have done three videos with this, a first impression, a duping video, and a three looks one palette plus review. So if you wanna hear my full thoughts on this palette, you can watch those videos. The matte formula in this is top notch, so blendable, easy to work with. The fucking multi-chromes in here, there are three multi-chromes, so intense on your eyes and super shifty amazing. The two duochromes in here, I wish they were a bit more of like this formula chockers because if they were, they'd be a bit more high shine and intense. But I love the color story in here. I love the inspiration as an Aussie person myself. I have such a love affair with this palette. I have to force myself to use other things because this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Like, dude, I... If I didn't get this in PR, I would have bought it straight away. Like, easily. Flaming Gala is one of my favorite iridescent shadows in my collection. It's such a stunning pink, green, yellow, multi-chrome. Fantastic, especially as a face highlight. Oh my god, I've worn it as a face highlight so many times and it's just... amazing. I realized that I forgot to do a close-up of this palette, but this is what she looks like. I love her so 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 much i love glaminatrix's formula and i do have a few singles from them as well but i'm really curious to try more of their mattes because this matte formula is so fucking good the final palette we have to mention is the kaleidos club nebula palette 
I'm so upset this was limited edition, y'all. I say that every time I open this because this is the best palette Kaleidos has ever done. Again, I've done plenty of videos with this palette that I will link down below. The metallics in here are so dreamy. These ones have more of a sheer base down here, but they make perfect inner corner shades and perfect layering shades, and I do love layering my shimmers a lot. This section right here, I have been really craving peachy tones this year, like I've really fallen in love with them, and anytime I wear them, I just feel amazing. I feel like they flatter my skin tone beautifully and my eye colour. This green, Gravity, ooh. It does have a slight sheen in it, which isn't my favourite, but oh my god, this type of colour, this green, is incredible. Normally I'm not a dark eyeshadow lover, but I do love that there's a good variety of deep mattes in here, because anytime I have a look that calls for a deep matte, I immediately want to go for this palette, because the deep matte formula in here is the best. And honestly, this is the best formula Kaleidos has ever done. Like, hands down. Kaleidos' metallics always hit the nail on the head. I think they make one of my favourite metallic formulas that you can find in palettes. They're so fucking incredible. The mattes, amazing. I am so in love with this. I do want to make another two looks video with this palette, but I need to work through some other palettes first. Part of me is really sad that I'm working on my palette series where I have to rotate through all of my palettes because in all honesty, I would just keep using these three. Now, single shadows wise, I have to mention my Glam Shop palette that my friend Katie made for me in our gift swap. This colour story is everything. This is me in a colour story. I have used this palette so much since I've gotten it. And Jesus Christ, the matte formula from Glam Shop is like heavily underrated. Oh my goodness. They are really cheap as well. I think they're like four pounds each, I'm guessing, I can't quite remember, but their matte formula is so underrated, it's so blendable, super pigmented, easy to work with, everything we love in a matte, they do have a lot of kick up in the pan, like, the most, the most, like, amount of kick up I've ever seen, in all honesty, but the turbo glows in here are beautiful, turbo snap, Dude, if you love pink eyeshadow, like pinky corals, this is your boy. This is the one. I love acidic as well. It's such a standout to me. And this shade Abracadabra, I've used it in a look, but I didn't take pictures of it, which I'm so upset about. I use this as a liner and this is the most, one of the most unique shadows. I should do a video talking about the most unique shadows. Ooh, that's on my filming list now. But Abracadabra is this beautiful olive with a pink and gold sheen. I do have other Glam Shop singles in my collection, so I guess I'll use this to represent all of them, but specifically this palette curation, I have done a video on it as well. I just am so in love with this, dude. It's just so me. It's me. The last shadows I have to mention are from my iridescent palette right here. I didn't have time to decant them from this palette and put them in a different magnetic palette, but I'm going to be specifically talking about these six shadows right here. These are my Terra Moons Iridescent Chameleons. Fuck me, man. Again, I've done a- I've done videos on pretty much everything that you're seeing right here, which everything will be linked down below. But dude, these Terra Moons Iridescent Chameleons, I can't believe it took me so long to try Terra Moons, because balls. Just holy balls. They are hands down the best iridescence. Ooh, that's a bold statement. I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. I'm gonna say it. I'm bold today. I'm actually wearing Zero Gravity as my highlight today. And on my inner corners, you're probably not going to see it well because my camera likes to dull down the shine, unfortunately. But Zero Gravity literally looks like a UV light. There's not much shimmer to it, but it truly is just a glow. It looks more blue on camera, but in person it literally looks like a bright purple glow with no base colour. It's mind-blowing. Another standout for me would have to be Lightyear, of course, the best seller. It's a best seller for a reason. Like. Oh my gosh, one of the most beautiful multi-chromes ever. I did a look where I put this all over my lid as like a one shadow look. And again, I'm so mad I didn't take pictures because it was such a cool look and I have to recreate it. I will do a video talking about my favorite iridescent single shadows once I finish filling this palette up. But in all honesty, as much as I love my Divina Sugar Drops, I mean, you can't really compare the Sugar Drops to Terra Moons because the Sugar Drops are more sparkly and textured. Terra Moons are more smooth and multi-chrome, like two different energies. We can't really compare them, but I have to give a huge shout out to the Terra Moons Iridescent Chameleons because goodness, honestly, one of the best purchases 
makeup purchases that I have made in all honesty. I just realized I forgot to mention this. This is the Firin A Pixie Epoxy. This has knocked my NYX glitter glue out of the park. This is so nice. It has a doe foot applicator that you can just apply straight on your lid for ease of application. It's thinner than the glitter glue and you can spread it out a lot easily. And I find that this, I think this works better than the glitter glue. I find that if you don't let it like set down a little bit, if I apply my shadow directly when this is still really moist, I find it doesn't really stick, it sticks too well and it gets a little bit like chunky, but if you apply a thin layer of this, let it dry for a minute and then apply your shadow, amazing. This is a fantastic formula, I highly recommend it, I just realised my rainbow light turned off. Excuse me. Now we're gonna wrap up this video talking about some of my favorite lip products at the moment. The first one being this gloss from Kaleidos. This has been a favorite gloss since I got it. This is the Kaleidos Lucid Lip Gloss in Dramatize. This is the perfect sheer sparkly strawberry type gloss. It is amazing. I did get this in PR, but like, I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. I am running so low on this, and as soon as this runs out, I am repurchasing it. Like, I need this gloss in my life. The formula is really thin, but quite moisturizing. And you can see the color and the sparkles right there. It's so glossy on the lips, so high shine and duochromy. It just enhances my natural lip color beautifully. I really hope Kaleidos comes out with more glosses in this formula because this shade specifically is so fantastic. I, knew, I know they had a few other glosses before, but they have discontinued them. But this colour, if you don't have it already, like I strongly suggest that you get this. I'm not going to say that you need it, because nobody really needs any more makeup, but if you're looking for a good new gloss, this is the one. A liquid lipstick formula I have to talk about. This is also from Kaleidos and this is one of their lip clays in the shade Cactus Flower. Now one of my friends purchased both of the lip sets that came in the Kaleidos Flower Punk collection. However, there were two shades in the Noir set that she wasn't going to use. This one and the shade Agave, the Deep Teal. I haven't used Agave just yet, but this shade Cactus Flower, I have never owned a bright pink liquid lipstick ever. Like, I, I always thought I would look bad in them. But oh my gosh, this shade is unfucking real That's what it looks like right there. It's the most beautiful, warm-toned, hot pink. And it complements my skin tone so nicely. I'll put a picture right here of me wearing it because, oh my gosh, I love how this looks on me, man. Lip clay, I feel like, is a weird word to describe these because they're not really, like, super drying on the lips. They're very, um... How would I describe it? They're very silicone feeling. Like when I swatch it, it feels very silicone and dimethicone-y. I don't know if there is dimethicone in the formula. I haven't checked. And they are more of like a moussey texture, but once you apply them, they glide on your lips beautifully and they do set down. And once they set down, they don't move, but they're not drying at all. These are basically like a better version of the Ofra liquid lipsticks. I had a few Ofra liquid lipsticks in my time. And honestly, that formula was hot dog water. It's shit. It was so bad. Because they were so creamy and they just kind of moved around on your lips, yeah they were kind of hydrating and more comfortable, but like, no. What's the fucking point? But this formula kind of is resemblant of that. Not really, they're not dupes in any regard, but like this is moisturizing but it dries down completely matte and it doesn't transfer it only comes off if you eat oily food. If you're like drinking water or anything, it doesn't really come off. Maybe a slight bit of transfer, but not really. I really, really hope that Kaleos comes out with these lip clays individually and not in the sets because, bro, I want that red colour and I really fuck it. I really want a couple of the neutral shades, but I don't want to buy the whole set. So Kaleidos, if you're listening, come out with these individually please. Sorry to keep harping on about these, but you can see that they just look like a soft matte as well. They don't settle into any of the fine lines in your lips. I I am blown away by this lip product formula. And the last things I have to mention are my Odin's Eye Kiss of a Fairy Bullet Lipsticks. I bought these the day they launched, and I bought one in the Cream Lip Formula and one in the Velvet Formula. I, I've mentioned these so many times on my channel, but I was not expecting to love these as much as I did. I have the cream lipstick in Love Jasmine, and it's this beautiful, neutral, 
brown color. And as we can see, these are super glossy on the lips. This formula, the cream formula, is so emollient and hydrating and makes your lips look juicy. It's one of the most juiciest bullet lipsticks I've ever come across. Almost feels like a lip balm essentially with a beautiful color to it. This color is just incredible. Y'all know how much I stan the little jasmine like lip gloss from Odin's Eye. And this is basically that color, but in a bullet form. However, my favorite formula of the two has to be the velvet formula. I have mine in the shade Light Peach, and it's this beautiful light peach color. This type of neutral color I find is the most flattering on myself. It just looks stunning. And as we can see, the velvet formula right here, it's almost resemblant of the Kaleidos Lip Clay formula because it's just that soft matte texture. Velvet is the correct word for it, honestly. And the velvet formula lasts so well on my lips for being a bullet lipstick. It lasts really well. It looks so plush on your lips, smooths over the lines in your lips, it doesn't settle in. And it's not drying at all. Obviously the cream formula is a lot more hydrating, but the velvet one isn't hydrating, but it's not drying either. It's, it's amazing. I have said time and time again that the Odin's Eye lipstick formula like all of their lip formulas are so underrated but especially these bullet lipsticks like dude if you're in the market for a good neutral lipstick formula get one of these especially if you're around my skin tone like these would look fucking beautiful on you i will forever sing these lipsticks praises and i wear them all the time seriously whenever i don't know what to wear in a makeup look, I reach for these lipsticks and they always work. Anyways, with all of that said and done, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know what are some of your current favourites. If you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then follow me on my Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky right here. I post all of my looks there and I'm active on there every single day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!